The Nile River and its importance to Africa. A recap of elementary geography will always hit you with one fact. The Nile is the longest flowing water body on our planet. That's not an exaggeration. Flowing through key African countries such as Sudan and Egypt, the Nile River empties its voluminous waters into the Mediterranean. Nile's unimaginable dimensions match its enviable reputation of being the father of African rivers. Here we bring you the locations, facts, and importance of the iconic River Nile. Location and Flow of the River Nile First of all, three major streams make up the Nile. They are the Blue Nile, White Nile, and the Ibarra. The Blue Tributary starts its journey from Lake Tana in Ethiopia and meanders its way through 870 miles, 1400 kilometers, to Chartum, the Sudanese capital. The White Nile, on the other hand, takes its source from Lake Victoria in Tanzania and then flows its way to join the Blue Nile at Chartum. Together, the white and blue make up one Nile, which pours into the Mediterranean Sea. In the Ethiopian dry seasons, Atbara dries up until the rains set in to give it a flow. In all, the Atbara flow measures 500 miles, or roughly 800 kilometers. Atbara starts its flow from Ethiopian higher lands and journeys in a western direction into Sudan. At Sudan, it then flows northwards to join the other Nile. In North Sudan, the mixed waters of the two Niles, Blue and White Nile, now flow as one river into Lake Nasser, mainly in Egypt. The Nile then continues its north course through the Egyptian capital, Cairo, until it divides itself into two distributaries that finally open the Nile waters into the Mediterranean Sea. The Rosetta distributary flows westward while the Damietta flows eastward into the sea. The branched landforms constitute the Nile Delta. Major Facts To demonstrate just how spectacular the Nile is, here are some cool facts about the Nile River. It's the world's longest river. So far, the most popular fact about the Nile has to do with its breath-catching approximate length of 4258 miles, 6853 kilometers. Even though there have been some debates about the river's actual length, no evidence has come out to prove that the Nile isn't the longest river we have on Earth. The most worthy contender for the longest river in the world has been suggested as the Amazon in South America. However, the U.S. Geological Survey recently debunked this. According to the agency, the Nile meanders longer, and it is about 100 miles longer than the Amazon River. Origination and Meaning of the Nile Nile is thought to have originated from the Greek word nelos, or in Latin, this corresponds to nelos. Nilus also owes its origination to the Semitic word nahar, which translates into the English meaning river valley, or simply valley. So basically, Nile is equal to a river. The Nile runs through 11 African countries. As the saying goes, little drops of water make a mighty ocean. In the same vein, little drops of water from 11 African countries make the mighty Nile. Being a great river, it has roots in Sudan, Uganda, Digar Congo, Tanzania, South Sudan, Rwanda, Kenya, Eritrea, Burundi, Ethiopia, and Egypt. Unfortunately, most people are only accustomed to what goes through Egypt, the Egyptian Nile. 41% of Egyptians inhabit the Nile Delta. Measuring from north to south, the Nile Delta's total length is about 100 miles, 161 kilometers. At the coastline, it stretches 150 miles, 241 kilometers. These dimensions put the Delta into the list of the world's largest delta. However, the amazing fact here is that the Nile Delta accommodates 41% of Egypt's population. Meanwhile, the Delta's area constitutes only a negligible 20% of Egypt's overall area. However, the Delta inhabitants' days are numbered, since the Mediterranean Sea gradually eats away the fertile lands and communities at its shores. Nile crocodiles are dangerous. If there is one dangerous water body in Africa, then it's the fearsome Nile with its dangerous crocodiles. Along the banks and deep inside its waters, the river has a diversity of wildlife. Examples include rhinos, tiggerfish, hippos, crocodiles, and frogs. Nile crocodiles, with lengths of 18 to 20 feet, are famous for their predatory life. They are very large. National Geographic has reported that each year, roughly 200 unlucky people get sucked into the bellies of Nile crocodiles. As you do your washing around a Nile bank, be cautious of these vicious flesh-eaters. The Nile is voluminous. 
Calculations have estimated that the Nile drives out about 79 billion water gallons each day. Another very mind-blowing fact about the Nile River is that, if you placed a boat on the Nile's water in Jinja, Uganda, it would sail for three months before reaching the sea. The river basins account for 10% of Africa's landmass. When you sum up the areas of the water bodies of 11 countries that connect with the Nile, the area represents a whopping 10% of Africa's total land area that's significantly huge. It's no wonder the Nile has been referred to as the father of African rivers. The Aswan Dam in Egypt controlled Nile floods. Built across the Egyptian Nile, the hydroelectric dam powers Egypt, but it has also put a stop to Nile's annual floods. The dam's construction has adversely affected the water supply of some communities. The dam's downside is that it denies farmlands downstream of the enormously nutrient-rich silt that the Nile used to deposit on the farmlands whenever there was flooding. The Great Bend, after its northbound course from Tardum, Sudan, the Nile makes an unexpected southwest curve, known as the Great Bend, at the Sahara Desert. It then flows for 300 kilometers before resuming back to its north course to the sea. This bizarre meandering is known as the Great Bend. It's linked with cataracts, waterfalls, and tectonics of the Nubian Swell. Importance of the Nile Aside from setting records, the Nile has been a great aquatic asset in close to a dozen countries that share its waters. Here are a few examples of the significance of the Nile to the African continent. 1. Source of Power Some hydroelectric dams have been built across sections of the Nile. The famous dam is the Egyptians' Aswan Hind Dam. It powers roughly 50% of Egypt. Other dams of the Nile are the Rosers and Center Dams. There is also the massive Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, GERD, that is being built over the Blue Nile. The Ethiopian Dam is slated to generate 6,000 megawatts of electricity for the country, the energy that would be used to help alleviate several millions of people in the country from poverty. Over half a century, similar projects and dams have sprung up in Sudan. Plans are currently been made in the upper parts of the Nile, in Kenya and Uganda. 2. It provides food and water to Egyptians. Without the Nile, ancient Egyptians would probably have been nothing to write home about. Flowing through Egyptian deserts, the Nile's periodic floods used to dump several tons of black fertile soil around surrounding lands. Since rainfalls are scarce in Lower Egypt, they cultivated these lands for their survival. Through it, their economy was rich enough to build magnificent pyramids and structures that we all love to see today. As for modern-day Egyptians, the Nile continues to be a devoted servant to the country. The river allows for extensive irrigation projects and food generation. Thanks to the Nile, Egyptians can rake in several billions of dollars in fish farming and aquatic preservation. 3. Transportation The Nile is an important transport route to the neighboring communities. Starting from ancient times to today, goods and people have been ferried across the Nile using boats. The smart ancient Egyptians used wood-made ships to carry construction blocks to feed into their gargantuan pyramids. In terms of the benefits the Nile brings to Africa in general, honorable mention can also be made of the revenue that it brings from tourism, education, and mythology. That's all we have for you today, guys. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, it's sure to click on the subscribe button, and also don't forget to drop a comment, like, and share.